Now that we have the NTP service and NS lookup working as we want, we're now going to configure the Kerberos. Now the Kerberos is going to need to know the realm, which is basically the name of the domain, and where to find it and where those services are. So we're going to very quickly just go and configure those files. So I'm going to just sudo nano and then we're going to go to set and we're going to go to krb 5 conf which is the name of the file where the configuration for the Kerberos client is set. I'm going to need to enter my password again and here we have the, the starting config. Now as you can see we already entered some information earlier which was part of the, the package installation. We're going to add to that in a moment but I'm also going to show you the, the realms down here. So the realms, you can see a couple of example configurations. You have the name of the domain. You then have the KDC, so this is the domain controller. And then last you have an admin server. Now depending on your domain, this can be more complex. So you can have more servers in there. So you would have your primary domain controller it would be the admin server and you would have more uh, KDCs as you would have more domain servers. Obviously you don't need to enter all of them but as an example if your Ubuntu server was hosted in a remote site it might make sense to have all of the domain controllers in that site listed so that if one was down or rebooted or not available for any reason you can use an alternative. So we're going to go straight back up to the beginning. Now I'm going to put in some other settings which we want to have. Uh, one of which is we're going to tell it that we have tickets and we're referring to the Kerberos tickets and the lifetime that we expect them to live for. So a ticket here we're going to say is 24 hours because we don't really want to have a ticket last longer than that, we're also going to say that we'll renew the lifetime uh, equals seven days. This is pretty much the defaults that you have in Active Directory unless you've changed them. So from this point of view, we're not setting anything unrealistic here. Uh, it is useful to note that if you do have a shorter timeout you might want to put the, the shorter timeout there. Uh, equally I could go down to realms here and I can clean it all up and remove all of these entries because I'm not interested in them. But for the moment I'm just going to leave them where they are simply because I don't need it and I don't need to clean them up. So at this point I'm going to create a brand new one uh, called lab. Oops, I'm missing a typo here. Lab dot local uh, equals, and I'm going to open, and then I'm going to put the name of my KDC equals, and I've got a server called dom dot local. Oops lab.local and because it's a small domain my admin server happens to be the same so dom.lab.local and then finally I just need to close and that's it now I'm going to exit and save. So I'm going to save the configuration changes. And that was it for the Kerberos. That's how easy it is.